Hi and welcome to another Type with me. And this week I want to use either for validation. So let's go and see how this works. So last week we already saw what either is and I also explained that you have the type either and that either has a left and a right, right? So in this case it could be something like invalid and when you have a crypto pass, yeah, well, you get at the end a crypto pass, right? So let's see how we can create some kind of validation when you want to have a valid password and you want to have some rules applied upon that, right? So let's see a little bit further. First of all, we need to apply some rules, right? So I just wrote down certain rules. So I want to have a password and it needs to have at least six characters. I want to have a password and it needs to have at least one capital letter. And I want to have a password and it needs to have at least one number. All right, so for the first one, I can very easily apply this rule here. And for this rule, I also need to import either, right, from the package either. And we have also right and left, and these are also things that you can very easily import from either. Same for left, right. And like you see here, we have a min length, and it's of the function where we have an input value a string and we have an output value either which has a string and a string. On the right it just has the normal string right because the length is at least six characters and on the left we have at least six characters so we just give feedback back to the end user that we want that right. So let's see how these other rules are being applied. The same goes for here. You can very easily have some kind of rule for one capital letter, right? We just do a regex here, and if that regex is correct, we just pass again the right string, and if it's not, on the left we say at least one capital letter. So for the, the last rule, password needs to have at least one number. We can have the following thing, right? We can have one number here. And also here we have a regex. And we say, okay, it passes, put it to the right. And if that's not the case, we have the left, left at least one number, right? So now we have our three rules and now we can chain them together. So we now need to chain them together, right? And we can very easily do that by just creating a new function, validate password. And here we have our pipe function. We explained that in our first video of functional programming for TypeScript. So check that out if you didn't know what it is. And then we have our first function, which is min length, and it gives either just the string because it's valid or it gives um, yeah the validation string right that yeah doesn't have the min length and then of course here with chain we can import that and chain we can add it to the lip of either and you see here we go we have a validate password so if we print this out in a console.log and then validate password ABC, we get the following result. So, you can very easily run this, right? And then you have here tag left and then at least six characters, right? So, if I now do this, one, two, three, and I save this, you think that it will have left at least six characters and at least one number. But that's not the case, right? Also, one capital, there is no capital there, so 
and so there that's a little bit strange right so for example when we have this and then i can do uh, now npm run compile then it will compile everything right and then when i do a run here dino run this in exodus you will see that at least one capital letter is there because yeah the minimum length is passed so we go over to one capital right and if we put in for example here one one capital and we have that and then of course when we do an npm run compile and then we run it then you see here that our tag is right and we have the whole correct string there right so if you want to have uh, everything grouped into an array for example uh, instead of just having fail fast first well there are possibilities to do so for example you can create a lift where you just change the either of e and a to where it's an either with a non-empty array of, of type e and then a right and then of course you put them all together into a map left into some kind of array right and of course if you're going to apply that how would that look like okay so we can work this further out but then again i will need to have some concepts that we didn't cover yet so for that i just want to leave it right is right so the most important is how does either work and how can you use it for example in your functional programming um, there by just having some kind of validation again this left one can also be something like new error and then just an error like we saw before for error handling this is great right as well so you just create a function there you have an input you do something with it and yeah, it can all fail and you do a fetch for example and you want to fetch and have some extra um, extra data yeah, and also that fetch can fail so then you need to send something else instead of the right you need to send something out on the left right again the right just goes straight from one function to another the left just has the fail first and it will just leave your functions that are being changed next or after each other Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, see you next time, right? Of course, also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I hope that I can give you more valuable uh, outputs and more valuable um, videos in the future. Thank you very much. Bye.